This is the Sun America NBC Sports Desk. Here's Greg Gumbel. Welcome to our New York studio and the Sun America NBC Sports Desk, everyone. It's a very special weekend here on NBC. So special, in fact, we're calling it Must See Weekend. Here is the TV guide for this week. And on the back page, a look at what we have in store today and tomorrow. Now, coming up in just a moment, the McDonald's Championship from Paris. Last year's NBA champions, the Chicago Bulls, are the featured attraction. Michael Jordan and his teammates will take on a Greek team in the title game. That'll be followed at 3.30 Eastern time by one of the great rivalries in college football, USC versus Notre Dame. The Trojans haven't won in South Bend since 1981. Then at 7.30 Eastern Time, Game 1 of the World Series, the Indians' Oral Hershiser, one of the great postseason pitchers, opposes someone 17 years his junior in Marlins rookie Levon Hernandez, who struck out 15 in his last start. Must See Weekend continues tomorrow. An NFL doubleheader features Troy Aikman and the Dallas Cowboys hosting the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Curtis Martin and the Patriots in a big rematch with Bill Parcells' New York Jets. In the late game, most of you will see the NFL's only unbeaten team, John Elway's Denver Broncos, in Oakland to play the Raiders. And Must See Weekend concludes back in Miami with Game 2 of the Fall Classic. Dave Justice trying to lead the Indians to their first World Series title in 49 years, but Bobby Bonilla and the Marlins stand in the way. We will be here throughout the weekend, but right now it's off to Paris. Ahmad Rashad and Bill Walton are joined by our colleagues from TNT, Bob Neal and Hubie Brown. Enjoy it, everyone. This has been the Sun America NBC Sports Desk. Sun America, the retirement specialist. France, enriched in history and artistic expressions. Like the Parisian artists who leave their lasting impressions on canvas, the greatest player in basketball has already left his indelible mark on a sport that has reached new heights worldwide. In France, number 23 is viewed as an artist, displaying the grace and beauty that will certainly last forever. In America, his airness is known as a ferocious competitor who can explode and create any shot imaginable. Michael's artistic impressions on the court has helped make basketball one of the most popular sports in the world. Now it's time for Michael to firmly etch his name into history as he brings his incredible talents to the global stage in the 1997 McDonald's Championship. NBC Sports presents the 1997 McDonald's Championship. Basketball fans from around the world have been gathering since early today here at the Palais Omnisport de Bercy here in Paris. They're here to see one man, Michael Jordan, who arrived here just a few hours ago with the five-time NBA champion, Chicago Bulls. They face a formidable foe in Olympiakos Piraeus, who have won five consecutive Greek championships. It is the championship game of the 1997 McDonald's Championship. Hello, everybody. I'm Ahmad Rashad, and championship teams from around the world have come to Paris for the chance to try and take away the Bulls' claim of world champions. But it won't be an easy task for the Greek team, who have already won 11 games in a row this season. Now, joining us for this special NBA on NBC telecast is Bob Neal, Hubie Brown, and Bill Walton. Bonjour, fellas. Bonjour, Ahmad. And welcome to you also here to Paris, France. The Chicago Bulls are in the championship game, but they had to defeat Paris St. Germain, the home team. Only got by them by seven last night. Big news in Paris, Michael's here. Big news in Chicago, Scotty and Dennis are not here. Bob, until those two talented personalities come back, there will be an ongoing question is how you're going to replace the offense and defensive contributions of those phenomenal players. Pippen so much on the offense. Crew coach and Harper guys expected to carry the load. Last night they were one for 16. On the defensive end, Rodman six consecutive NBA rebounding titles. The Bulls gave up an inexplicable 
set 19 offensive rebounds, but in the end, they've still got Michael Jordan, and that's always been enough for five NBA titles. Should be enough again today, Bob. Michael had 28 last night. Hubie, Olympiakos Piraeus, a suburb, by the way, of Athens. How good are they? Well, you have to say that they're a team with great tradition. Three out of the last four years, they've reached the Final Four of Europe capping it off with a championship in 97. Now, you're talking about a team that's off to 11-0 start, three new starters, all with U.S. college backgrounds. Hawkins at the point out of Xavier, Johnny Rogers, Cal Irvine out of, and at the power forward position, and then Arturis Karnishevis from Seton Hall. They must excel this evening, shoot a high percentage, keep the Bulls off their defensive board. <laughs> hey, no problem. Sounds easy. <laughs> European champions and the NBA champion Bulls up next on NBC. The McDonald's Championship is brought to you by the irresistible taste that makes you say, did somebody say McDonald's? By Jeep, makers of the Jeep Grand Cherokee, Cherokee, and Wrangler. And by AT&T, it's all within your reach. Moments ago, Michael Jordan meeting 13,500, uh, I guess, plus the Bulls roster here at the Palais Omnisport de Bercy. In McDonald's history, this tournament started in 1987 as McDonald's Open has become the McDonald's Championship. NBA 15-0. There have been some close calls. And the Bulls are going to be playing a good team, the European champions, the Greek League champions. And there are three players on the starting lineup with American experience, Rogers, Karnishevis, and Hawkins. Karloch, property of the Chicago Bulls in the NBA, will be jumping against someone he may be com competing with someday, Luke Longley, uh, for the Bulls up in the front court. And Tomic, the guard, excellent defender. He may draw Michael Jordan earlier, use early. You see Cappy, Longley, Harper, and Jordan, and Tony Kukoc, who threw up a donut last night, went 0 for 7 and did not score, gets the starting nod for the Chicago Bulls over Randy Brown. Now, the rules here, obviously, NBA, FIBA, and McDonald's, four significant changes. Well, the game will be faster because of this 24-second shot clock, which all American players are used to. Six fouls, yes, that's standard here. Uh, and then the three-point shot, much, much closer. The game, Ruby, will also be longer because they're used to playing 20-minute halves here, now full 48 minutes. I don't doubt about it, Bill. The, the extra six seconds that they have to give up here, they're not accustomed to it. And you can see in the period that we've been watching, they rush their shots. And also, it definitely is a fatigue factor, the extra eight minutes that they are playing. Dushan Ivkovic, leading candidate for European Coach of the Year, four-time winner as... A head coach, he has just done some wonderful things. Phil Jackson, of course, in what he says is his last year as head coach of the Chicago Bulls. Phil Jackson telling us before the game that the keys are going to be pressure the guards, particularly Hawkins, cover the big men for Olympiacos on the perimeter, and then identify the defense better with the changing zones that Olympiacos uses. Dick Mavetta from the NBA officiating and Pascal Dorizon from Cholet, France, in the western part of France, will join him as the second official in the McDonald's Championship. Two officials as opposed to the three for the usual NBA game. So an interesting look here. Tarlach jumping against the much taller Luke Longley. 